would feel a cold breeze, like just someone like blowing at me and my hair would just fly. There's a silhouette right there and it's just a man standing on the frame, just like the cowboy, like how they stand by the side with the hand on their... The grills still tell me that they experience tough. See, I, I come in, a, in and out a lot and I stay late, sometimes like by myself. Footsteps, rattling the keys, thinking it's my dad or somebody else walking around, but it turns out it's not anybody. There's nobody there. What's up everybody? I am back with Ontario History Vlogs, Jerry James at a haunted location that Jerry has hooked up. So yeah. tell us a little bit about the Salvation Army building. Okay, I saw well, your video, but let them know. All right, well, this building that we're about to investigate was built in the 1930s. It's the old Salvation Army building, and um, allegedly it's haunted. Um, I've never been here before to investigate it, neither has SCPC. It's our first time, so hopefully we um, find something, something interesting. We were already in there. We've actually got permission to kind of do our thing whenever, all night pretty much, yeah, um, whenever. thanks to Jerry. That's real big when you're doing a paranormal investigation when someone gives you literally the keys and like do your thing. So we're gonna take our time and I'll be honest with you guys, right away I can feel something in there. Jerry Me started too. to feel nauseous. Mm -hmm. There's something in there, we're gonna get to the bottom sure. of it. This intro you're looking at right now was filmed over a year ago. Jerry's got a beard now and you're gonna notice our clothes are different. I don't think I'm wearing a hat either. You see what happened was all my footage got deleted from last time. We caught some really interesting EVPs from a male and a female. Got some weird things happening on camera and it all got dumped. I've never seen my camera do that. This was really the only thing that got saved. This is not the first time a ghost hunting group has investigated here and their files got deleted. So we're going to give this a second shot and let's see if we can catch something. experiences in. Well, what is the bathroom? Sometimes girls will be in the bathroom and they'll say that somebody is uh, kind of like pulling at the door. Like really? This. Okay. But well, nobody would do that, you know? Yeah. Especially if you're by yourself. That's, That's true. They say that happens. And this is the room where they feel the cold, kind of like the uh, change in temperature sometimes. Well, yeah. if there's any ghosts in here, they can do that tonight. Cause Even it's if it's hot? <laughs> When you walk in here, this is our coolest room. Really? And if you feel it right here, I mean that fan's on. I can turn off the fan. This it's just fan cold in here cool. for no reason? Yeah. It gets really cold in here for no reason. And girls have been sitting here and felt like their hair being pulled. Really? Yeah. Giovanna, what kind of experiences ha have you felt personally here? Myself, for well, this was back in probably, mm, let's say 2000. 2001, 2002, I was sitting in the front office and my sister would sit at the corner and I was sitting at the middle desk. So there's the door frame on the side behind me. So I would feel a cold breeze, like just someone like blowing at me and my hair would just fly. And I would talk to it and say, leave me alone. That day my sister was there with me. She's like, who are you talking to? Nobody. And I just kept on working, minding my own business. And I felt it again. At this time, it just blew faster, and then my sister's like, did you feel that? I'm like, yeah, it's not the first time. She's like, you're just acting like it's normal, I go, it's not the first time. And she got scared. So everyone has gone home for the night. The building is completely empty and completely ours. Me and Jerry are going to focus on this bathroom and hallway area, while in the meanwhile, I've got this night vision camera set up in the back where there is supposedly some more activity. Let's see what happens and let's jump right into it. Comment below if you guys uh, have been to this building, have seen it. It's on the corner of Euclid and Holt, City of Ontario. Pretty interesting. I never knew the history and how old it was. So hopefully round two will be better than round one. Let's do it. Yeah, it's really weird. So that's the switch. There's no timer or nothing. Nope. Okay, we were doing an intro for Jerry's video just a second ago in this back office and we both had noticed that the light was off in here. 
So we're trying to figure out if it's on some kind of a timer. I, I, I'm pretty positive it was on because I've been coming back and forth around this way. That's kind of strange, dude. Let's just, let's leave it on. See if it does it again. Yeah, definitely. Okay. Very weird. Definitely. Hopefully we'll catch something. Now, one thing I can say that happened last time that we're experiencing now is footsteps. Jerry and I will be walking somewhere and we'll turn a corner and as soon as we stop walking, it sounds like someone's coming up right behind us. It really tripped Jerry out. You hear footsteps right there? Yeah, right there. Where are you going? Uh, it's always weird. It's a lake in there. This right here. I'm just keeping distance from me. I want to go into that chapel. I think that's accurate. Something is up. Okay, something is up along this area. I don't know what it is. Jerry's freaked out right now. There is something definitely up at the end of this hallway. All right, so let me just give you guys an example. Um, everything is off. All the lights are off. There's just a few computer screens right here. We, I'm not gonna go messing with these, uh, the ladies' computers. Jerry, you wanna hit that light and show everybody what we're about to do? Yes. Is there a little switch on there? Oh. Pitch dark. Nice. All right, let me just change the angle on this. You heard something? Okay. The year is 2019. People have seen you walking around, felt you playing with their hair. They've heard you wiggle the door handle while they're in there. Are you attracted to these ladies that work here? Try to come near me and speak clear. You don't have to be afraid of us. Jerry, I got an idea. Do uh Do you want to go to this bathroom by yourself with the night vision camera and uh see if something wiggles the door handle? Not really. <laughs> Not okay, at all, man. I'm going to I'm going to take a peek in there. Okay, we're going to turn the spirit box back on, and I want to get to the bottom of the rumors since uh, this spirit doesn't want to talk to us. That's fine. Wish me luck, bro. Good luck, man. I can't see anything, you guys. All I can see is what's on my screen. Okay, I'm walking in absolute darkness, you guys. Okay, that's the running. Oh. What happened? Holy shit. What happened? Did you heard something? Yeah, but I, I... You scared, Jay? Yeah, it's freaking creepy in here, dude. Really creepy. Okay, I'm gonna I'm gonna close this for a second, okay? So I'm not going to lie, it's creepy in this bathroom, it feels creepy. The toilet's running, we thought it was the sink, but it's not. Let's see if um, the spirit wiggles that door handle. Can you touch this door handle like you do with these ladies here? Can you make a noise in here? So, so creepy in here, I don't know what it is. 
I don't even want to look in the mirror. Mirrors creep me out. You guys see anything in the mirror? I think I'm good. Jerry? Tell me Jerry went outside. Jerry? Yeah. You good? Yeah, I just keep on hearing something. It's freaking out. Jerry. There you are. How hot do you think it is in here? A good 80 degrees. It's hot. Yeah. It's hot in this building. There's no AC. We're not catching any ghost activity. Nothing. I have to look over the cameras and see what happened with them. But right now I'm going to focus on pictures. I'm going to walk around the building, take a ton of pictures, and see if we can have any luck like that. But as for now, no luck. It's just hot. Sweating, man. Sweating like a sauna. So we did a few more SB7 spirit box sessions and didn't catch anything except for that man saying women earlier. We took several pictures, nothing. K2 meter, nothing. We tried a digital voice recorder, nothing. But do you guys remember that camera that I set up in the back? This is pretty interesting. I want you guys to pay attention to the bottom left of your screen right around there. At exactly an hour and 11 minutes into this recording, I want to say it's more like dust, but it's pretty strange. Very, very weird. Leave a comment below. This is really the only interesting piece of evidence we caught all night. Then nine minutes later, again, you see these pulsating orbs just kind of dangling and floating and they're kind of flashing and have their own movement. I'm really on the fence with it, you guys. I'm not going to BS. I'm not going to say they're orbs for sure. They are very strange, but they could be dust. Leave a comment below. I'm interested to know what you think. I want to give a big thank you and a big shout out to William, the owner of Rojas Multi Services over here in the city of Ontario. Thank you very, very much for your hospitality and allowing us to come in here and do this investigation. Thank you, William. I appreciate it. Hopefully we can come back in the future. If you guys like this type of content, go ahead and subscribe, share my videos, check out Jerry's channel right here. If you want to subscribe to this channel, you can do it right there. I will catch you guys next week with a brand new video as always. Talk to you later.